Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. And what do we have up on the screen? Well, it's an island. It's a tropical island. It's got a few trees. And look, look at that beautiful island. It's all by itself. There's nothing on it besides some trees. I mean, there's no other islands in the vicinity, right? For some people, that is the OSR. And don't get me wrong, these are the, these are the gatekeepers that will say, oh, no, Shadow Dark is an OSR because I can see 5e influences on this. So uh, get off the island, swim somewhere else. You, you're not, no, no, uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics is not OSR. That, that doesn't, and that argument's going on for years, right? Years. So, is the OSR an island? And is it an island of exclusivity? Uh, does, do events that happen off this island have no impact on the OSR? Now, I certainly would say that events happening outside of the OSR impact the OSR, right? We wouldn't have the OSR or the old school revival without third edition, the open game license, and the third edition SRD, right? We wouldn't have had this huge push of games used in the third edition SRD if we didn't have 4E and the horrible game system license that nobody wanted to use, right? Nobody wanted to pay for, that's for sure. Now we have 5e. And now 5e gave us the OGL debacle, right? That was nearly a year ago where we're going to take this back. And the fear was not just third-party 5e publishers, but OSR publishers that were using the OGL were going to get royally fucked, right? But this is an event that had nothing to do with the OSR. It had only to do with 5e. These different editions, these different events, these different, uh, I don't know, time marks on your timeline, there's an effect that goes beyond just your island. So let's go away from that solo island for a moment. All right, let's look at this. Now here we have two islands and it looks like islands in the distance. So what is it? The reality of life is even if you were on an island, you came from somewhere, right? Uh, and travel between islands, travel between continents has been happening for aeons. So... If you want to bury your hand, uh, your head in the sand, you certainly can. But yes, um, events that are going on in the gaming society at large, the whole idea that, oh, Wizards of the Coast plans to make money off of fake live streams of games, right? The, the Matt Mercer effect is relevant to the OSR because they want you to be a viewer and they don't care whether you play 5e or 1e or Swords and Wizardry or Shadow Dark or DCC or Basic Fantasy or any of these games. You are the potential audience. You are what they want. They haven't given up on you, especially not in this new digital turn of events, right? They want you to be part of what they're advertising to. Might not seem like it, but they certainly wouldn't turn a blind eye to you. And why is that? Because if you're an old school gamer, you likely have more disposable income than a new school gamer based upon the demographics of age. All right? If you're an old school gamer, if you are an OSR aficionado, 
guess what? You're likely later 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, older. You have the disposable income. It's the current generation that are playing 5e who has uh, pockets that aren't as deep, right? Their wallets aren't as thick. Their purses don't overflow with cash. Not saying hours necessarily overflow with cash. But disposable income as you get older... The kids have grown up, they're out of the house, you're no longer paying for the kids, you've paid off your mortgage, you have more disposal income. If you don't think that you are going to be part of the target for this, you're putting your head in the sand. If you don't believe that what happens with 5E, if 5E redone, redone uh, rebooted, recycled, you know, what was formerly going to be 60. But if 5E, the reboot, does well, it's going to bring everybody up. You're going to see a, a resurgence in people playing OSR games. You're going to see people that... And it's, is it going to be to the numbers that Watchy is looking at? No. And there are those in the community that are gatekeepers, that don't want this young blood coming in they play they broke their their they broke their teeth on 5e we don't need them in our community yes you do because guess what the osr is getting what older okay the demographics that doesn't change unless you bring in new blood and there are some members of this community at large that see Young OSR players as something that's not beneficial because they bring in wrong thinking. Again, they they grew up on 5e. I'd rather bring in a 5e player and introduce them to the OSR and have their eyes open and go, holy shit, this is what I want, as opposed to saying, yeah, yeah, kid, stay away from my game. We we know the the true religion. You don't. Just just stay away. So before you were so quick to dismiss the events that are going on in gaming at large with WotC, with Hasbro, outside of your little corner of the universe, be aware that your corner of the universe gets buffeted from the winds that are buffeting other parts of this universe. You're not the only island. And people can travel between them. And you would need to know what's going on elsewhere so you're not surprised if all of a sudden it lands on your doorstep. Now, there are those that will disagree with me. And they would some disagree with me because they've got a valid argument to disagree with me. And some will disagree with me because it's me. If you're of the first type, I'd like to hear what your opinions are. I'd like to get your feedback. And if you're the second type, feel free to block me. Unsubscribe, go away. Because you should probably, you, you're not subscribed anyway. All right? But if you haven't subscribed, you enjoy the videos that we do in this channel, whether it's the live streams, whether it's these short videos. Like, subscribe, comment. It helps the algorithm. That's a advertisement on the bottom of the screen, 10 cars dash tavern slash DTRPG. Uh, it'll take you to drive through And by the way, this uh, art that I've been using, I will include a link to the uh, site in the show notes. Uh, if you're doing videos, if you're doing blog posts, if, to be able to get some free art you can use commercially. If, if making, uh, I don't know, $2 a day on your videos is commercial, I guess it is. Um, not a bad thing. So I'll include that link in the show notes. Other than that, there's a live stream tonight, Gamers Health. Holy crap. I believe it's uh, Men's Health Awareness Month, and also the clocks go back, which means that the daylight hours for most people is going to seem much shorter. And we have seasonal depression that sneaks in. So we got a few topics to talk about and touch upon tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, this Friday channel, 10 Cars Tavern. Hope to see you then. All right, folks. God bless. Tonight.